Daddy, you go crazy. Hey, man, we want we want to take it from the top though, cause we know you, No Limit Cairo, from the yeah. south side of Chicago. Yeah. East side. East side, my bad. Yeah. Um, you know, tell us what it was like growing up over east. <laughs> That shit was hard, man. This shit wasn't easy. You know, it started out easy. You know, it's regular street shit, no group fights. Point them out, knock them out. And niggas playing basketball, football. And me and niggas start getting shot at and shit. Me and the rest of that shit was history. Yeah. That shit happened in Ear Hood, though, not just on no East Side shit. That shit in everybody shit. Mexicans. White motherfucker do that shit. Right, right, right. But for your but for your hood specifically, right? Around what time um you know did you jump off the porch and you, you start getting involved yourself? I always been like a Christian. I ain't so you used to go to church? Yeah, like, I never really was in the streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got in like motherfucker like somebody like, mm. I got in on some laid on down the line shit. Okay. This shit be like force this shit'll force a motherfucker in for real. Yeah. I ain't wanna be in this shit. It so, just be looking like it. I just make it look easy. I ain't wanna be in this shit for real though. None of my niggas wanted to be in this shit. This shit we just thought this shit was a game until this shit got serious. Then they like, lost a lot of dead homies behind this shit. Now we see this shit. Ain't no turning back, fam. It's hard to say fuck some shit when you lost dead homies to this shit. You know. Around what age did you uh, start losing, you know, homies to the streets? You remember what, what, what was your first, like, funeral going to, like, for a friend? Um, like, I've been losing, like, like the older guys. Like, like, like what the fuck? Like, face old dad. That shit was like 10. Yeah, hey, bro, dad and 10. Like, that was like the, like, we been losing, like, like, bro, like, he like 30, 31, 30 or some shit, so. Like, he been losing niggas, like, all the older guys, like, niggas my age, we had started losing niggas, and like, like, niggas considered, like, Fazo, like, the first loss or some shit. Then, like, Rock, so. Like, from 10, 2010 to 2012 type shit. Okay. So 2010 to 2012, this is also when like the uh, the, the 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 drill era, you yeah, know what I'm saying, yeah, started yeah. to, yeah. you know, build. And um, you around guys like her, Bibby, you know what I'm saying, Juvie. Yeah. Um, how were you able to gain such popularity without actually getting on the mic? I used to do stand up. Okay. Then it went from now. Nah, this fuck. Nah, no bullshit shit though. It's like all the bitches and shit just fucked with me. I always on some funny shit, like just on some kitty shit when I was little. Then all the bitches wanted to talk to me and shit. Then all the niggas in the streets, like I was, I was already plugged and shit. So everybody just wanted to fuck with me on some damn. Like why everybody? Flocking the shorty, he a shorty type shit. And that shit was like, like I'll be like before Instagram, all this shit like, I was down there, no, no MySpace type shit. You know that shit, over old. And then shit, motherfuckers, that shit been since grammar school, like niggas, every nigga had clout for before rap. Like, even on some grammar school shit, you know, that shit started on some popularity shit, who got the most bitches in school, right, right. who get the freshest and all that lame shit. Right, right. Shit like that. Street shit, motherfuckers. Fucking with you for knocking niggas out and clapping niggas down. Right. That's how this shit started before the rap. That was the old clout. Right, right. This rap shit just looking easy now. Everybody wanna rap. That's where they run to for clout. So I want to ask you um, about the uh, most obvious um, moment of, you know, your teenage years and growing up, um, the, 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 the McDonald's incident, you know, 
the fans love talking shit yeah. about. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just love talking shit about it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it'd have been years ass, past, Cairo doing good, looking good. You know what I mean? Like, the, the fans ass, still got to crack a joke about he got I hit at McDonald's. I'd have talked about that shit for them. They still want to. You know, you gotta, you gotta like they right, they still be like, you gotta let them have it, fam. I wonder why is that though? Some real shit though, like you know what I'm saying? Like, well, you know, you can't please them, fam. But what a god! But what I want to ask you about that uh, situation though, right? Um, at that time of your life, were you perceived as? Uh, like menace to society or a threat, or was that a situation in which they was kind of like picking on you or praying on the week or like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. was it? Nah, ca- it wasn't no shit like that. I don't know. Like, I feel like all that shit. I deserved all that shit. Like, I don't feel like I don't like to say on some. Oh yeah, niggas was older than me and did this and did that. Like, I can say all that shit, but I. No, I really deserved all that shit because I, so you, so I you, was out here ain't knowing how the streets was going for real, bro, until okay. that type of shit happened to me. Okay. Like, I like, that shit like taught me a real lesson. Like, oh yeah, you need to watch how you move type shit. Yeah. Because motherfucker could get up on you type shit. So I just, I took that shit as a lesson, bro. Right. Like, I could have, I probably said that shit but once yeah. or something. Like, man, you know, dude was... 23 or some shit, and I was 16. Like, mm-hmm, niggas mm-hmm. thinking that type of shit cool. Like, that was the real age between us type shit. But if I'm out here in this shit, standing on blocks, for ain't, ain't nobody gonna give me no pass, for. Yeah. I'm a goofy ass nigga. I should never been in there. So, would you say that was kind of like a defining moment, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you coming up in, in the yeah, streets? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. That shit right there, that shit like. That shit like made me global too on some exactly. Like, damn, exactly. that dude, some motherfuckers got down on. Right. <laughs> like, damn, that motherfucker be really still thinking about that shit. Like motherfuckers still be talking about that shit. I be like, damn. But you know, and you know what's crazy about them type of situations, bro. Like, like. I don't know funny shit, but like the nigga that get punched, or down there had like more clout than the nigga that did the punch. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Like, like, like the situation with bands, you know what I'm saying, in the mall, like, you know what I'm saying, bands turned up after that, no, nobody even know the nigga, you know what I'm saying, like, that, you know what I'm saying, that threw the punch, you know? Yeah, yeah. Who the fuck did, who the fuck did do that? I don't know. Who the fuck, I don't know, I had, I was locked up when that shit happened. Yeah. Yeah. What you was locked up for at that time? Um, stealing some chips out the store. For real? No. So you was a petty thief in that. No, I had, I had caught a gun case, and I had threatened the judge and shit. So you had got caught with a pipe? Yeah, I had got and caught you, with a pole. And then you told the judge what? I had got caught with a gun in 2014 on the 4th of July. And I bonded out. And then I had was going to court in Bridgeview and shit. Like in Bridgeview, they, like they let you take your phones and shit hmm. in the courtroom and shit. You know, they don't do that shit at the county and shit. But they let you take your phones in the court in Bridgeview and shit. And the police was already, like, the ones who locked me up, they was already, like, investigating my um, my Instagram, like, trying to screenshot pictures and shit, like, for when I'm ready, if I want to go to trial, they incriminate me and shit like that. And she, I had took a picture in the courtroom, like, I said, some, oh, that shit was some goofy shit. I'm like, man, if the judge don't give me probation, I'm beat his ass or some shit like that. And I guess the police that was watching me, they took the shit to the judge and um, like told him I threatened him type shit and made him press charges. But I had just left court like two days before. And when I left court, my lawyer called me like, yeah, you got a warrant. I'm like, what the fuck, how the fuck I got a warrant? I'm like, I just left court, how the fuck I got a warrant? He like, man, he like, I don't know, we gonna schedule a court date for um for Monday and we gonna go on uh, we go to court and shit. They talking about this this the reason why we in here and shit and all type of lame shit. So I'm already fighting like a one or three. 
Like, that was my first case, the gun case. Then uh, the judge shit, that shit was like a three to seven, like three to seven years. Like, so one, of, I was fighting one to three years on one case and three to seven years on the other one. And shit, but motherfucker was telling on me and shit. I'm like, man, this shit crazy. That's a situation you had with 600 Manny? Yeah, with the Manny shit. I guess they had went to go, I don't know, they, he was on house arrest. Like both of us was on house arrest at the time. I had movement and I don't think he had no movement. But I had moved from my crib and I ain't never tell them where the fuck I went. I just called him like, yeah, I'm for the move. But I ain't never sent him my address. So they went to his house first because we was in the picture together when we took the um, picture in the courtroom. He took it with me. And we had the same judge. So they got up with him first. And I guess he got talking to them and shit like, man, I ain't had shit to do with that. And like trying to plead his case while they trying to cuff him up at his crib and shit. And he said some police shit like, oh, it was him who did all that. I ain't had shit to do with that shit. Well, I'm on some, I'm on some young shit. I'm like 19 type shit. Like, I ain't knowing he said this shit. So I get the court. They like, man, dude told on you and shit. My lawyer like, dude told. Him. I'm like, damn, who? He right. like, boy, him. I'm like, yeah. You know, bro, big as hell. He like six, seven type shit. I'm short as fuck at the time. I'm damn, this nigga big says just told on me. He in the streets just like me, but I'm finna right. go on some over gangster shit like. Man, I see it all that shit. I ain't had shit to do with this shit. I'm finna go, that's what I was finna go do. I'm like, man, I'ma just, I'ma end up having to take, matter of fact, the judge shit was a two to five years, not three to seven years. So at my man, I'm like, I'ma just go take all that shit. I'ma just do three years. You know, when you take like three years, that shit be at 50%. I'm like, man, I'm finna have to go to jail for 18 months. I'm for the take the time for both of us, but when I get to court, my lawyer like, man, dude, told. I'm like, damn. I get to court and shit, I see him, I'm like, damn, for you told him. I'm like, damn, for you told, he hell no, Steve, we finna come from one of this shit. All type of lame shit, I'm like, shh. I'm like, for you know that my lawyer showed me your statement, for. Like, you try to throw all that shit on me. He, man, we, we good, for him. He, if I snitch, we wouldn't even be, and the same boy pen, we won't even be with each other. I'm like, folks, you not no super snitch. You ain't do shit but make a statement, folks. We still rappies on this shit. Like, you blame as hell. That nigga crazy, though, fo. It seemed like it'd be a lot of that going on, you know what I mean? And, and you know, I guess it it'll boil down to he say she say because everybody 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 say if you ain't got that paperwork, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. you can't you can't you can't make them type of claims, you know? I wouldn't even play about that type of shit. Right. DJ, you go crazy. <laughs>